being in the studio with some of the best songwriters in the world and in this industry, they just do some things differently. Let's talk about what those things are. Tip of the day. Songwriting, writing better lyrics can be such a mystery to so many people starting out in music, or even if you've been in music for a long time. But I want to tell you there's some like really obvious things that you can do to write better lyrics. The first thing that you can always think about and always do differently is think about your cadences with your rhyming. And I think this is like something I hear a lot in amateur writing is that they have the same rhyming schemes. I just did a da-da. Now I'm going to do a gotta. Bada da da lada. Made it be the kata. Like always rhyming the last syllable or the last word of a phrase. Start thinking about different rhyming techniques. Listen to songs that are like really incredible. Think about the really great songwriting of our time and listen to the cadences of the rhyming. Like that's number one. Like you can come up with any lyric you want, right? You can think about a million different lyrics. But if your rhyming scheme is elementary and the song isn't elementary, it's going to sound really weird. It's going to detach you from the song. So that's number one. Number two, when you're writing lyrics, the lyrics have to be very conducive to what the melody and what the song is about, right? Like pick pick an actual theme, pick a storyline, pick a plot, pick a character, pick a you know, pick like, what is the issue here? What is the, uh, what is the, who's the provocative, you know, uh, who's the provocateur? Who's the, um, you know, who are the characters in the story? What's going on in the story? You know, these are, these are really important elements to writing better lyrics. If your lyrics are all just based on like finding ideas and saying random things, your lyrics are always going to come across as like, uh, these aren't sticking, right? I want to be drawn in by lyrics. I want to be drawn in by the story. And a, a great storyteller can use different descriptive terms to paint pictures, right? The water was blue. is like, yeah, cool, man. But the water was glistening with a teal blue seen down to the bottom, crystal clear. And the earth below it was of all these colors. Like that is so much more detailed. I can paint a picture in someone's mind. So use lyrics that maybe one word can mean a lot of things, right? It can, it can paint a picture that keeps the mind open. Uh, third thing, right? And really, really important is don't give away. Don't give away the big aha moment or the big, uh, you know, like hook tagline. Don't give that away in the first verse or the intro, right? Wait till you get to the hook. Bring someone up to the hook to then where you give them that lyrical piece, right? That ties things together or gives you satisfaction. That's super important with writing lyrics. Now, this is something also like this last piece of advice I'm going to give you for writing better lyrics. This comes from just composing or writing good music or structuring anything that's going to be good storytelling or anything anyone wants to even pay attention to. But have a story arc. That's really, really important with writing better lyrics. Like if you're going to tell a story and you say to me, I went to the studio, I got drunk, I woke up hungover. I'm like, what a story arc, dude. I don't care. You know, like it's just so boring. And it's also kind of like, yeah, I don't want to hear that again. That's a dumb story, right? But if you told me like, yo, I woke up in my car and I had no idea where I was at. Whoa, what happened? You know, get intriguing. Tell me, tell me the, tell me the tagline. Tell me the punchline first. Like, wait, how'd you end up in your car without your pants on? <laughs> you know, like explain this. Right. So I think that that's the, the story arc is really, really important. And in a, in a society now where we have attention spans that are like literally less than a goldfish. And that is like, that's a true statistic, which is mind blowing. But in this society where we have less than like we have three seconds really to capture someone's attention and you're telling me, you know, oh, I got an intro, bro. And like, listen, to my intro, it's this synth pad for like a minute. Like, sorry, I lost you. Right. Or your lyrics are like 
kind of drab or they're the same cliches that I've heard over and over again, people are going to skip your song. They're just not going to listen to your song. So if you want to write better lyrics, take all of these things into account, become a better storyteller, um, become good at, at, at giving, you know, your story an arc, get better at rhyming schemes, right? Start with the punchline and then tell me the story behind it. Entice me, bring me in, draw me in, grab my attention, and then tell me an incredible story. Now, if you really like this tip of the day, click the link in the description and let's get your songwriting going even better. Join the beat gang. I know I say this over and over in my videos, but it's because I love this group. I truly believe in it. And I have a group of almost 100 people that you can network with that are in the music industry, that are trying to write better songs, that are trying to be better producers, composers, songwriters, artists, engineers. And they're all right here in the beat gang. So click the link in the description and join today. And that's the tip of the day. Almost every.